seems I have grown a few mutants in my vegetable garden. Anyway, not bad. Hello everyone, greetings from Invincible Ukraine. In this video I will show you Ukrainian village life. Oh, oh my god. Uh, how people live, what they think, what they do. Hello. Mm. I have new village friends. <laughs> Look at them. So. Fede. What are you doing? We are driving to our village. <laughs> you should be happy. Our wives are waiting for us. Welcome to Zhutomir region. Ah, look at this, at these children. Now they are asking for money from this man. How many of you have children? Nine. Nine children? And what, your mom came to buy money? And where is the village? And where do you live? О Боже. Я не знаю, чи в мене гроші є. Зараз я пошукаю. Так. Федя. Федя, один наш кошелек. Так. Як на тобі? Тільки поїсти щось купиш. О, Боже. А як ви з Харкова добирались? А в Харкові де жили? Електричками. Я зрозуміла. А діти маленькі всі? Ну все, йди тоді. Дякую, до побачення. І хай тебе береже. So, I arrived here to show you this rocket I decided to make a soap here you may ask why a rocket because because this rocket marks the beginning of uh, Zhutomir region and Zhutomir region is a birthplace of a famous designer space designer Sergei Korolev yes this video is about village life but on my way to the village I decided to reveal one of the Russian lies and to tell you about Sergei Korolev the USSR chief spacecraft designer, whose identity was kept hidden by Stalin and the NKVD. They limited his freedom, they tortured him and forced him to remain incognito. He created the first artificial Earth satellite, and he organized the first space flight and the first space work. Today, people around the world mostly perceive Korolev as a Soviet scientist or a Russian. In fact, Korolev was born in Zhutomir, Ukraine, and he always identified himself as a Ukrainian. Now Russians are trying to appropriate his name, calling him a Russian legend. Yes, Bulgakov, who was born in Kiev, is Russian for them. Gogol is Russian. I hope now you understand why they started this war. They just want to appropriate our history, our culture, and all Ukrainian achievements. <laughs> Feda doesn't like this trip at all. I think it's high time to drive. I, I just wanted to show you this rocket, by the way, by the way, uh, Elon Musk wanted to visit Zetomir one year before a full-scale invasion had started, but uh, right now I do, re do not recommend Elon Musk to visit Ukraine at all, because all Ukrainians have changed their opinion about him a lot, 
after he made that silly joke about our president Zelensky. And uh, last week, yeah, okay, maybe two weeks ago, if I'm not mistaken, there was a very popular meme. Uh, some owners of Teslas uh, wrote on their cars something like, uh, sorry guys, we bought this car uh, before we got to know that Elon Musk such an beep beep beep. <laughs> okay, it's time to drive to my village. No, Please, <laughs> 20 minutes more and we will be in our village. Федичка. Федя. One second. Let's go and check how many mice we have caught. Wait here. <laughs> I do hope this time there will be no dead mice. One second. My my magic door. You remember last time? but no mice mm. and here no two It's really good work. Here you go. Here. Remember, you are a hunter. You are a lion. Here. Welcome to your home, new home, village, <laughs> house. <laughs> oh, you don't like it. I see. I think no, he is not interested in mice <laughs> at all. Maybe it was my mistake, but I love him. We have been living for 12 years. 
Und <lacht> Do you like our village house? Let's <laughs> try to find something here for this one. <clears throat> it's a hard task. Uh, what can we find here? I found this one. <laughs> Maybe it's too long. Let's try it. <laughs> what is it? I have found a better one. Oh. <laughs> have you ever seen such a nail? It's really huge. Okay, let's go and try. Because my poor Fedja is alone <laughs> with mice. Fedja. <laughs> I'm scared, my poor Fedja. No. Okay, he's not scared. going to catch any mice today. <laughs> uh, now everybody knows that Vita is constantly complaining on village mice. Yeah, I can't solve this problem. And uh, thank you for all your comments. Most of you wrote that mouse traps and mice poison are absolutely useless in my fight against mice. And uh, most of you advised me to rely upon natural forces. I mean, 
just to bring a cat and uh, I wrote many times that my metropolitan cat, my city cat Fedja, will be useless again, loose, useless in this fight against mice. But yesterday I decided to follow your advice and I took my cat Fedja with me. Just do it. Федя, он где-то там. Ну, ты сам боишься. Федя, иди сюда. <laughs> I think it's not bad. Look here. <laughs> I think I can be really proud of my harvest this time. <laughs> Although I had no experience at all. That's how we live in Ukrainian village. Thank you for watching. Pray for Ukraine and goodbye.